hello guys and welcome to my new epic map series. I think this is a lot better way of representing my videos from now on. Um, I don't have a proper structure right now and I think this is a good way to start it off. Right now all I'm doing is kind of random time lapses and random videos of me showing updates on my Dwarven City. So now I'm going to do this instead. It's going to be very heavily based off your suggestions and comments. So please, please, it, the whole point, the, like the whole reason this will succeed or not is if you guys actually comment and like the videos. That's that's like one of the most important things. Um, if I don't get feedback, I don't know what to do and <laughs> um, yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. And I think I kind of have enough people that watch my videos now for them to for me to be able to start this so those people who aren't commenting please leave a comment and tell me what you think you know it, every comment helps um, <laughs> that sounds funny and kind of weird um, I so the whole part so this this episode no I'm going to be making a mage tower because I read the comments of this I uploaded a video of me this landscape a few hours ago and everyone seems to want a mage tower and I didn't think about that at all so I'm pretty happy that people said it because I was going to make the weird demonic place here and I think a mage place mage tower and like college or stronghold here would be the best thing because you know all the magic of the land is centered around this area this could be like the center of the land it is the center right now it's in the center of all the settlements um, so it's absolutely perfect I think for a mage settlement um, so that's what I'm gonna do so the structure of these videos is going to be me talking um, building but it's I'm not going to show you the whole build it's going to be cuts of like let's say at the start of me starting um, 50 percent of the way through telling you why I did this why I did that 75 percent of the way through is telling you exactly the same giving you progress reports and updating I kind of was messing around here just looking at what I could do but nothing is set in stone yet <laughs> set in stone but anyway <laughs> um, uh, I think that's the way I'm gonna do it so if you like the idea of that please leave a comment please like it if you like the idea of the series and oh yeah there's also to the guy who pointed this out um, <coughs> I did not I have a sick mind and I did not even notice this and I don't know how but that looks like two hands holding a giant chocolate bear and I don't know how he ever noticed that. You sick, sick man. <laughs> anyway, on that note, I'm going to cut and I'll be back once I have every the uh, floor plan set out of where I'm going to place everything. I'll see you guys. Hey guys, as you can see, I've, after cutting down the whole mountain and I'm placing the... I've kind of placed a bit of the foundations of where I think things are going to go. No, I still am doing this as I'm going so it's <laughs> kind of difficult but um, I think I have a pretty good idea now I'm gonna have a tower here I'm most likely gonna have another tower here I'm gonna extend this out and it's gonna be like kind of a courtyard um, another courtyard here I'm gonna have this bridge going right across um, I don't think I'm going to make that into a bridge I think I'll leave that the way it is but that's going to be the way in um, yeah, I think that's about it. I just wanted to show you the. Um, oh yeah, did, did I make? I made this circle as well. It's if you want to have a look, this is how I made it. Um, five blocks across. I think it's like the center point, and then from the center point, from right here, it's eight blocks. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight that way. Eight that way. Eight that way. And um, then at the eight block of each corner, you push your block that you want to make it out of whatever and you put five across two and then an angle two five two angle two five and just do that whole way along um, thing is as well like the bigger you make it the higher the thing has to be no I don't know I might have made it too big let me just check I'd say I have that's the highest I can make the tower now that might be too thick for how big the tower is going to be I'd say it is 
I'm probably going to make it a tiny bit smaller. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a look at that. Um, I'll be back again when I have a bit more done. Hey guys, just a little quick update. Um, I finished the tower and I kind of did this spurly effect. I'm pretty sure it was in... I seen this as well from the Yogcast. They did this sort of... One of their Shadow of Israfel things. But I thought it's absolute perfect idea for the mage place. I might make it a bit bigger. Um, that's one of the towers. It took me absolutely ages to kind of <laughs> get it the way I wanted it to look like. Um, I put glowstone around here. The roof is really complicated looking because it is really complicated. It took me a while to map that out. Um, this is the very top of the world. I can't build any higher. Shame. <laughs> Stupid skybox. And well, that's that's just a marker over there. If you're wondering what that is. Um, uh, I put steps here, and I think that's really about it. Oh, glowstone as well. Like I thought, it just made it look like, you know, there's windows and there's people inside. I'm going to make a door, obviously. Um, you're going to be able to go into this. Like, I'm probably going to put another few small towers around it, maybe, or I could put a big dome here. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to cut and see what I can come up with. I see it, guys. Yeah, I got a tiny bit carried away. Um, I, yeah, built a lot. I built the bridge. I built the water there. Um, I made the outer wall. I made the inner wall. I made two more towers. I made the glowstone. <laughs> um, I used a lot of steps again. Um, I just I think it looks really nice. It used to, it was very square when I first made it actually, but I I made everything I kind of rounded everything off. This the, this is kind of the only part of the tower or this entire place is square because of this tower, because it's it's the only one that's square. The rest of them are well that one's square as well, but it's not as square. Well yeah it is as square, but because I did this here, it doesn't look as square. Um, so that's why I made this wall jagged, this wall jagged, because it, it if you look at it from above, not that you will be, but it gives it a good profile, I think anyway. So it's square, circle, 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 and the inner wall matches the outer wall, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, you can see here, but you can see over here, actually this place looks amazing at night, I think. Night. And I love the look right here. I don't know about you, but I think that just looks too cool. And I did not plan for that tower to be framed by two of those towers so well. It just happened, <laughs> I swear. But it looks really good from almost all angles. No, I'm going to add a bit more detail to everything. Just a tiny bit more, because I need to add, a, I think, a bit slit windows and stuff. Just to give it a bit more something. Um because the walls look a bit barren right now but I think the overall features are the big features of this place are done because when you come here you're going to see that massive orb you're going to see the towers and you're going to see the vortex above that's what you're going to see more than anything else you know and I don't want to take away from that either um, so I think that's about it so I'm going to cut now and I'm going to add a bit more detail and see what else I can add and I will see you guys Hey guys, as you can see, this is my first redstone Yokuma jank thing. And I know, yeah, everyone that is like unbelievable redstone, like, oh, it looks shit. But this is my very first redstone thing I've like ever made, actually, ever. I made, well, no, I've made like a redstone door before, but I've never made anything like a clock or anything, and this is my first one I made. So I made that. Little target dummies and bookshelves or book things so they can read about their spells and then go pew pew and, um, this is where they can sit, chest, I have this like gate thing here and they have one here as well. I made all the floor out of half blocks. Um, I added all windows, I'll show you now in a sec. But this is like a door here and I put another door here, I added all the torches. So I changed the floor up to here. So as you can see, but look at all the, the windows. I added all these windows and I used the glass panes, um, or whatever they're called. Um, I added, destroyed these to make it just look better I think. Um, more windows, I had a door there, I added a door here which you're going to be able to come up to later. A door here, a door here. There's nothing inside yet, um, we'll just did the outside. Uh, that was kind of a little courtyardy thing. Well, no, a courtyard actually is in the front, isn't it? I don't know, whatever this could be called. Um, 
So I think that's pretty much done for this area. The outside, I'm pretty happy with the way the outside is now. It looks really cool actually. Um, I keep forgetting this is here. How is there snow on top? This is the top of the world. Huh. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut now and I'm going to start on the inside. Oh my god, I haven't done an inside in so long. <laughs> but I'm going to get into the good habit of doing it and I'm going to start now. So I'll cut and I'll be back when that is done. Hey guys, I finished what I wanted to do with the interior. I used a lot of mossy cobblestone to frame the everything, <laughs> frame all the rooms. I used a lot of enchantment tables to make everything kind of, you know, come alive and look like it's watching you and be all creepy. Um, I made these diagonal doors because I don't like the normal standard kind of left, like left straight ahead or whatever doors. Um, and it kind of suits this place as well. Um, very basic rooms. This is kind of the mage quarter of it. Uh, another basic room. Another one and just one more. I didn't really have that much space to work with and then moss stone on the ceilings as well. I think it looks really cool. This is the enchanting tower and up there is kind of the... well it's not kind of, it is the enchanting stuff. There's, there's enchanting stuff everywhere but that's kind of the main one and that's where like you know maybe all the energy you gather or this place gathers and you can do it up there you know whatever. Um, <laughs> this is the library hall I don't know we put chandeliers it's very basic looking but it gets the job done you know um, weird empty bookshelves <laughs> up here then is the I want to bring you to the alchemist tower which is this one I have never placed this stuff till today and I don't see the point of these cauldrons when you can just you know it's just all water, isn't it? When you can just have the four grid. Well, I suppose it's a lot more neat. I don't know. I've never used them, and I probably never will because I haven't played survival in a long time. Um, yeah, you can see everything with this room. It's very self-explanatory. You don't really need to say anything. So I think I'm going to end it here. I'm pretty happy with the way it all turned out. Um, again, please like and comment most important thing and also tell me uh, in the comments what you want me to work on next do you want me to do something else with this or do you want me to go on and make something else or finish something else in the other settlements and the person with the most likes I suppose on their comment or the most comments that go towards a direct or common thing I'll work on that so again thanks for watching and see you guys next time